All right, so we're going to go over these real quick, um, real quick for each one, okay? So this is a new, what, Death Knight card? Three mana, three two weapon. Death Rattle, summoning one one, life steal undead. Change your health on your turn while equipped to improve. Oh, okay, so it, it'll summon a bigger minion, I'm assuming. Um, so there's like a music theme. Uh, three mana, three two weapons, fine. Summoning a one one, and then when you swing into a minion, it'll it'll uh, summon. That's pretty good. So yeah, if you swing once, it becomes a two two, and then swing again into a minion. So it's kind of incentivizes you to hit minions. Uh, very strong arena card. Uh, pretty cool. Hey, Con, thanks for the follow, man. Uh, Harmonic metal. Three mana, give four random minions in your hand, plus two, plus two. So kind of like um, conditioning and some of the other uh, hand buff stuff for Death Knight. Uh, and then it swaps, and I guess this is what it swaps into. Give two minions in your hand, plus four, plus four. I think it's a playable arena card. We'll talk about them in the context of arena. Uh, I don't imagine it's like a broken card, but like conditioning is good. The two mana use corpse cards to get some buffs is pretty good. It's an okay card. A um, little bit of harmonic metal. Kind of reminds me of those uh, uh, Cobalt's cards that swapped every turn. Similar mechanic. This is pretty cool looking. Uh, cinematic Necrotic Explosion. Uh, the less legible the band's logo, the more hardcore it is. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I was actually kind of excited. I'm waiting. I was waiting for them to uh, introduce this type of mechanic for Death Knight. One blood, one frost, and one plague or unholy, is it called? Uh, so you need to. You you can't play double or triple runes for anything if you play this one. Um, deal five damage. Life steal. Summon two one ones, and randomly improved. What does that mean? Like, one of those will improve for each corpse you spend? I'm assuming it's kind of like a Denathrius. Actually, that card is incredible. That's like, isn't that just going to summon like two five fives? Oh, it deals random damage? No, it says randomly improved. Okay. Well, without understanding exactly what it does, the card seems like it's closer to Denathrius than anything, no? It's going to deal a ton of damage and gain you a ton of life and summon two giant minions. It might just be better than Denathrius. Either the damage goes up or the number of souls on their stats. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm assuming. You have to spend corpses, not have them. Oh, okay. So it's a little harder to, to go. But if they just revert the the nerfs and offering rates to some of those cards, then like it was really easy to spend corpses before. You just put Malignant back in or Corpse Bride or you know, any of those type of cards, the Discover cards. And there are um we'll go over there's a new Discover card that's gonna be really common, allowing you to find ways to spend corpses. Revert changes, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look at some of the priest cards here. Power Chord Synchronize. It's all about you, girl, on your 16,000th birthday. You know, the the um, the flavor text is quite good sometimes. Uh, two mana holy spell, choose a minion, add a copy of it to your hand, and finale, get both plus one plus two. So finale is a new keyword. Um, so when you spend all your mana, so if you have two on two and spend this on two, then you get the effect. If you have three mana and you spend two, then you will have one floating and you won't get the effect. I think it's really cool. I think the mechanic itself is kind of interesting. There's going to be a lot of order rules in chat for sure. Um, the card itself, eh, there was an old card, Seance, uh, two mana, copy a minion, add it to your hand. This is better than that, but not so much better. Um, I think the card's just fine. Uh, it can target enemies as well, which I guess is you know makes it a little easier. You don't have to be on the board. You can get your opponent's best card and add it to your hand. So, oh, I didn't even understand what this card does. Um, 
it buffs the one on the board and the one in your hand. Eh. Uh, this is kind of cool. Heartbreaker Hedonist. It's one over the hearts and minds of millions of fans all over as Azeroth's shadow magic had nothing to do with it. Not that you asked or anything. I didn't ask. In fact, I don't even know what most of those words mean. Uh, it's got a new keyword, overheal, which is apparently a, a, an evergreen priest mechanic that they're going to keep going. Which is kind of interesting that they've never had this mechanic, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, so anytime you overheal, so if it's, you know, a 4 or 7 and you heal it up to 4 9, but it only has 8 health, then it will trigger overheals from what I'm understanding. Uh, this is a 4 mana 4 8 that deals 4 to itself, so it comes in as a 4 4. And when you overheal it, it deals 5 damage to a random enemy. So it can hit minions, it can hit face. For Arena, honestly, this card's probably not great as far as legendaries go. You're going to have to heal it 3 times with your hero power before you can trigger the... Uh, before you can trigger the overheal mechanic. Now, if, you know, the clergy card is in and you can just, like, overheal it right off the bat, yeah, sure, it's okay. Um, it's more of, I think it'll have more implications as an evolved target when you evolve into it or generate it randomly. It's going to be an overstated four with an upside. What about cannibalize? Yeah, sure, sure. Anytime you have a two-card combo and one of them is a premium removal spell and one of them is a legendary, it's like... Yeah, it's not going to come up too much, but it's applicable at times. Uh, what do we have? Record scratcher. Great. I'm going to be. I'm going to have to buy a record scratcher while we're streaming and take a look at these. Um, Death rattle. Refresh one mana crystal. So three mana two two is pretty bad. Play combo cards to improve it. So I'm assuming you improve it and it will uh, increase. So you'll get two mana crystals and then three. Again, not a particularly powerful arena card. Some of these cards look like they could be problematic and constructed, though. Refreshing a ton of mana can be kind of um, a problem. Um, having something that can potentially like repeatedly overheal, like a Radiant Elemental and a Renew or something, would just kill someone with this card, right? I don't know. Uh, there's another new keyword. Uh, there's another new... Um, not keyword, uh, cycle of cards, apparently. There's going to be one for every class, I think, at least one. If you control no other minions, so this has got like a music theme, it's a soloist. If you control no other minions, deal three damage to all enemy minions. So uh, that'll be a card for sure in Arena. That's the probably the best card for Arena specifically that we've seen so far. Um, you have to have no other minions, though. So what we've learned a lot of the times is... Cards like this just mean you trade your 3-3 into their 5-5, and then you trigger the effect and you kill their 5-5. You just trade all your stuff up. Um, I think that card will be very strong in Arena. And then we have two more cards to look at. The Legendary. When building your deck, assemble a band of three cards. Battlecry, discover one. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what any of this means or what that does. But I think this card is in the is in the update, like you can start playing with this. Um, I'm not sure if we have a complete understanding of what that means, but maybe someone in chat knows. It's banned from arena drafting. This one? Um, we have one more um, here, Ghost Rider, which this will be a, this is an absolute menace in arena. It's fun. It's the new Scorpid, it's the new Panda, and in, in some instances, it'll be better than both of those. Um, refresh the site for more cards. Oh, okay, I'll take a look. Um, so it's a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. So we had a card that already did this. It had spell damage plus 1. Uh, Steward of uh, Elementals or something. And that was a really good card. Um, a lot of flexibility. It's understated, which is good. But getting two spells, it's like you just play this on turn five and you, you get a 4-4 four, four and two spells you get to discover. Um, the, the mechanic itself is kind of interesting finale. I think it'll be cool. Um, you have to spend all your mana in order to get the effect. Which is actually kind of cool in terms of the design because you won't be able to use the spells you get the turn you use it. Right? So that's actually kind of a nice kind of safety uh, mechanism for the card, I guess. Apparently there's some more cards. Steward of the Scrolls was one of my names. That was you? 
Uh, let's see, what didn't we see? We didn't see this one. A, a one blood, screaming banshee, five mana, three, six, life steal. After your hero gains health, summon a soul with that much attack and health. Wow, that card's crazy. Um, it's a five mana, three, six, but if that attacks once, you're getting a three, three, I'm assuming. Um, or if your opponent needs to trade into it after your hero gains health. What the hell? I mean, you have to have lost the health, so you're not always going to be able to take full advantage, but that's going to be an absolute pain in the butt to ever trade with. Vamp Blood spawns a 10-10, the lifesteal weapon. Yeah, I mean, on its surface, this is a good arena card. Like, just, just the stats are... It's a little understated, but the effect is really, really strong. We have the 5 mana 4-6 in right now that's an undead that deals 2. And that card's, yeah, it's good. I think this is better than that. Um, it's a class card, and it has a rune um, kind of stipulation, but... Yeah, this card's good. You're not going to want to trade into that card, that's for sure. There's the 4-mana deal 6 lifesteal card. Yeah, yeah, so when you combine this with any, any of the other good lifesteal effects that are very abundant, um, you know, you're just going to spiral out of, out of control pretty fast. Um, no Muncher, you play this on curve, followed up with a No Muncher. Start, you know, you're, you're unkillable and you're summoning a bunch of fray minions every turn. That card's good. Uh, oh my god. Peaceful Piper, choose one. Draw a beast or discover one. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, that's my favorite card so far. Uh, no comment on the art. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna hear it. Don't tell Zelda. Um, related cards. Happy hippie. Friendly face. Um, that's really fun though. It's so one mana, one one. Discover a beast is cool. It's kind of like that old uh, hunter card. Death rattle give you a beast. Only this is better, right? Yeah, I like that. Uh, we got a Legendary Paladin spell here. Give your hero Divine Shield for the rest of the game playing a Holy Spell refreshes it. Okay, um, that'll be a card in a Control Paladin if it if there is such a, a list in uh, Constructed. Um, it's an interesting card. Uh, it's like if you're playing, if you're a mage and your opponent plays this, it's really not that problematic. If you're a Shaman or something with an 8-8 on board with Wind Fury, or something, you know, you're going to just be hating your life. I don't think the card is great for Arena because it doesn't develop anything on the board. It doesn't remove anything. It's kind of like an ice barrier or something, right? But it's a cool concept. I, I don't think it'll be a great Arena card, though. With Wind Fairies take 8? Yeah, but what if you're at 35 health? Uh, wait, another location? Oh, wow, that'll be easy to trigger um, Overheal with. One mana, two charges, restore three health to all friendly characters. Um, probably a fine card. It needs support for Arena. Uh, you need clerics, you'll need some overheal effects. But if they really support the overheal mechanic, then this card probably ends up being okay. Probably not a broken location, but more similar to the um, like the muck pools, right? Where or like sanguine depths or something, where you have this like smaller, less impactful location, but can synergize with your deck. I think it's probably worse than both of those, though. You know, just on its base. Uh, wow, what are they just pumping out a million cards right now? Three mana, four, three combo. Deal four damage randomly split amongst all enemies. Beatboxer, okay. Error, cannot compute, no punching allowed during musical performance. Uh, combo, deal four split amongst all enemies. Uh, that's a really strong card, for sure. That's a great card, man. What um it's like a bunker sergeant, like a like a like a super buffed um bunker sergeant. Uh there's another card like this. This reminds me of something that I can't quite put my finger on. It's like a twin tyrant. <laughs> no, it's not quite well it can go face too. I guess going face makes it a little a little worse. Firebrand? Yeah, it's like firebrand. This feels like a firebrand equivalent card, probably. Um, although being able to hit face at some times will make it better, and then other times will make it worse. It's a powerful card. Um, and there was an old, like, the Mech Mage thing. Um, Goblin Blastmaster or something had a real similar effect. Uh, this is a little easier and a little cheaper to activate, though. So that's a good card for sure. Mech Tyson. 
That's funny. God, so many cards. Rush, Divine Shield, Taunt, Wind Fury. Rush, Divine Shield, Taunt, Wind Fury. Uh, this reminds me of that old, I, I think it was a Cobalt and Catacombs card. Four mana, three, three, that gained a lot of these effects if you had them in your deck, I think. Uh, this is just much better. Um, Rush, Divine Shield, Divine Shield, Taunt, Wind Fury. Yeah, it's a good card. Um, it's understated. The effects are good. Uh, it doesn't have Life Steal, which, you know, if you if you take away, like, Taunt and put on Life Steal or something, it probably becomes broken. Corpse Taker, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, the card's good. I think it's probably, like, not, not the best card we've seen. Probably, like, fourth or fifth best from the ones we've looked at so far. Uh, during your turn, let me click it. During your turn, your hero is immune. Void Virtuoso. Uh, yeah, it's a fine card. Uh, during my turn, my hero's immune. So you can tap for free and then, like, Abyssal Enforcer Hellfire effects don't hit you. We'll have to see if there's more, like, both players take, you know, X amount of damage type cards. Um, it's a one mana, one three. I think one drops in Warlock historically have just been totally pickable. You can always just, especially one, like, you just play it and then... You can just tap in the late game. It doesn't even really cost you much. I think this will be get, this will get picked a lot. I think. What else we got here? Hipster, battle cry. Discover spell from your opponent's class that isn't in their deck. Okay, I, I love it. I love that card. Okay, I'm really excited about that. That's like a callback to the to the panda, which originally was a two mana one three. This is like the reverted version of it. Really cool card. When do these go live? When the new expansion comes out. I don't know if there's a date yet, but um, the flavor text. So you like Hearthstone? <laughs> Name every spell. Oh, God. This is a Twitch chat card for sure. The implication is awesome. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's smoking a pipe. He's a hipster. <laughs> He's making fun of you for not knowing every Hearthstone card. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, what else? We got one more card here. Seven mana, six, six, Amalgam. The one Amalgam band. Why be good with one instrument when you can be terrible with all of them? Gain a random bonus effect for each minion type you've played this game. Uh, and, and is a bonus effect, I'm assuming, Taunt, Lifesteal, Rush, Wind Fury, all that. Um, if so, the card's good, but not great. I don't think this card's great either. Reborn. Like every keyword. Uh, maybe. It depends how many keywords there are. I'm not actually sure how many there are. But in Arena, this is going to be like a 7 mana 6-6 six, six Divine Shield with Rush or something. You know, like, it'll, it'll be like a card, but it, it won't be like, uh, you know, I think something like uh, this similar effect, but for like a Nazoth that can summon you a board of 7 minions or whatever is, is stronger. Maybe it gets a Discover? Yeah, that I, I don't know. Like, if it's discovering stuff, if it can... I, this is a much more fun and interesting card if it does really wacky stuff. If it's just gaining, like, plus one, plus one, or whatever, or, or, or like, a keyword, then it's hard to say. I think it'll just be okay. There's a dev comment. What, what does it say on the dev comment? Bonus effect is not descriptive? No. Leave it to... Um, Leave it to uh, to Hearthstone to be uh, very vague and nondescript, but it looks cool. I, I would say hipster. I, I always like you know the cheap discover cards. Hipster, uh, huge flavor fail. Not calling this Mech Tyson, although maybe <laughs> maybe they couldn't. But that's a great name that I came up with. <laughs> don't don't ever forget I came up with Mech Tyson. <laughs> also, I didn't come up with Mech Tyson, but yeah. Uh, Peaceful Piper, uh, I think that one is cool too. And I actually think this is really cool. Um, 10 mana, three rune types I think is really interesting. But I think this card, when, and it looks really cool. The colors look beautiful. Um, I think when um, you get hit by that, it'll feel like a, like a better pre-nerfed in Athreus, I think. Okay, thanks guys. I'm gonna cut that up and make it some YouTube shorts later, and we'll um we'll put them up on uh. I don't belong over here.